<laughs> ah, yes. I love this plush toy I have. <laughs> oh, it's one of my favorites when I was little. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Mordecai. Oh, oh, yes, Gorgon? Are you planning on doing another one of your thoughts videos? Um, yeah, of course. Well, why not do one of uh, this guy? Oh, yeah. Gosh, how, why did I, why did I not think of doing one of that guy? I mean, I mean, here, first of all, I was, I, I've been trying to figure out what, uh, thoughts I'm gonna give on, you know, for tonight's episode. And now I know. Thanks, Gorgon. I'm gonna go do that right now. Good luck, Mordecai. <laughs> uh, you guys know what this video is. <sighs> Well, it's time to talk about another serial mascot, and with the commercials, give my thoughts on them. Now, of course, you've seen me talk about the Honey Nut Cheerios commercials with the Honey Nut Cheerios Bee, and the Trix commercials with the Trix Rabbit. However, there's one famous serial mascot that I have yet to talk about and give my thoughts on. Uh, Gorgon, show us who it is. It's this tiger. <laughs> yeah, you still know. Yes, that's right. It's Tony the Tiger and the Kellogg's Frosted Flake commercials. Ah, yes, Tony the Tiger. What a great serial mascot character he is. One of the most famous cartoon tigers of all time. Ah, uh, he's such an icon with his deep voice, the catchphrase he says, they're great! And... The, ta the most tasted cereal from Kellogg's themselves. And, you know, because it's funny to think that at first they were called Sugar Frosted Flakes, but then they were just uh, known to be Frosted Flakes. The name changed because, you know, they got rid of the sugar to them. Which, yeah, sugar to breakfast cereal, like, I don't think that really helps. So, let's not waste any time. Let's go through a couple of Frosted Flake commercials starring none other than Tony the Tiger. So if I'm correct, here's the first commercial with Sugar Frosted Flakes and the introduction to Tony the Tiger. Yeah, totally from the 1950s and this was the start of Sugar Frosted Flakes and geez, just listen to Tony's voice here. Right. Okay. Clearly, that is not Thurl Ravenscroft. I mean, was he re wasn't wasn't he even the first voice of Tony? I mean, is it him or is it Dal McKenna? I, in fact, I thought he was. I thought Thurl Ravenscroft was the first choice to be Tony. I mean, <sighs> this story is confusing. Somebody, please help me out on this. For this being the first commercial, it's fine for what it is. And besides, this is when Tony the Tiger was born. Great! Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. Okay, here's another one from the 1950s. This one from 1959. And this one all about baseball. And you can tell that right here, that's Thurl Ravenscroft voicing Tony. <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, boy. Hit it. Hit it? I didn't even see it. I don't know. Uh, is it me or does that kid look a lot like, I don't know, Ron or Clint Howard, you know, when they were little boys? Basically, the plot of this commercial is Tony helping out a uh, baseball player trying to hit the ball. And with the help of Sugar Frosted Flakes, yeah, it definitely gets the kid hitting the ball with the bat. Either with milk or right out of the box, Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes are packed with energy. Uh, not with the sugar. Sugar doesn't give you energy. Boy, it's a good thing that they later on dropped the sugar. <laughs> That's a direct hit in Tony's stomach. Boy, that's got to hurt. I mean, you know, he's a cartoon tiger, so, you know, why should he get injured? You know what I'm saying? Another pretty good commercial 
in the 1950s. And yeah, for Tony the Tiger, you know, helping out those and giving them uh, frosted flakes, yeah, what a cool cat he is. Okay, one more from the 1950s. This is a pretty good one, because we have Tony the Tiger and his son, uh, uh, Junior Tony the Tiger? Ah, oh, well. Basically, his son is trying to open the vault that contains, I guess, the secret formula to Sugar Frosted Flakes. Yikes! The secret! As I was saying... Hey, Junior! Let me out of here! <laughs> That's pretty funny. He accidentally locked his own father in the safe. <laughs> hey, Pop, maybe this will work. All I gotta say is try some Kellogg Sugar Frosted Flakes. They're great! <laughs> and it blew up, and yeah, so that, that, that is pretty funny. Okay, now here's one from the 1970s, and this is a pretty funny one, because we see Tony's mama. So did I teach you to say it? It's good. Aw, isn't that adorable? He got that from his mother. She taught him what to say when eating something, and, you know, saying great. <laughs> How precious. You may be Mr. Breakfast to the rest of the world, but you know what you are to me. You little Tony. I'm so proud of him. And sit up straight. <laughs> Mothers telling their children how to sit up straight at the table. <laughs> Could get annoying sometimes. Okay, now here is one from the 1980s. And this commercial was a contest. Anybody home? Tony the Tiger is touring the country. If he comes to your house, show him a box of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes and he'll give you a new BMX bike. Eh, I don't know. Those commercials that would have contests, you know, I don't know. They could, I, I'm sure that they could be fun, but still, you know. I mean, it's like if, if you eat a banana, Gorgon would come to your house and give you a special prize or something. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll have a banana today. Huh? Yes? Huh? Hey, Carl. Since you're having a banana today, you win a hammer. Okay. Just simply saying. Oh, well, it's an okay commercial for me, and I'm sure the contest was a lot of fun, and whoever won the bicycle. You could win a bike, too. Look for me in the Portland area. Okay, now we've come to the 90s. And this, I think, is one of my favorite commercials. It's a commercial promoting Kellogg's new Frosted Freaks cereal, Coco Cereal. Your new Coco Cereal, sir? Mm. Good? Good? They're great! Ship it! <laughs> okay, first off, you know, it's obvious that Tony would always say they're great no matter what it is, that's Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. And right after uh, everybody cheers, you hear that one guy saying, ship it. Yep, just that's all they need to do is just ship it. Yeah, this is a really good commercial and one of my top favorite Tony the Tiger Frosted Flake commercials. Ah, yes, and since Gorgon showed his Tony the Tiger plush, yeah, I should mention about uh, this one commercial in celebration of Tony the Tiger's birthday, and everybody could get a Tony the Tiger plush toy, I guess that comes with uh, the cereal box, I don't know, but that was pretty cool. I do like it that uh, there have been uh, plush toys of uh, cereal mascots, cause yeah, they rightfully so deserve their own merchandise, and they have been ever since. Now, we've come up to the early 2000s. This one, Tony the Tiger, is about to jump and dive into a pool. <coughs> he has eyes on the back of his tail? Well, it is a cartoon. Uh, surely the Looney Tunes could have done something like that as well. 
Kellogg's supercharged frosted flakes as part of a good breakfast. <laughs> he has the frosted flake cereal as an emergency. That makes total sense. Come on through. Okay, him changing into a bird and a fish. That's uh, that's that that is funny. I I won't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his stripes. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I've seen that kind of thing before. I think T Tigger uh, from Winnie the Pooh at times uh, lost his stripes. Oh, yeah. And now we come to these commercials in the early 2000s of Frosted Flakes and Tony the Tiger. Yeah, I remember these very well. I remember seeing them on the good old days of uh, the Disney networks on Toon Disney. And these Frosted Flake commercials from, you know, basketball, baseball, you know, and with uh, the song that they sing, you know, We Are Tigers. Like, I don't know. Was it supposed to be like, say, something cool or what, whatever it was? I don't know. But I have seen that other uh, uh, baseball like themed commercial of Frosted Flakes with Tony the Tiger, uh, and that you're watching right now. You're seeing, you know, hey Tony, da 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 da. That was uh, that was pretty good. And then apparently, I saw these commercials on YouTube of Frosted Flakes and Tony the Tiger. It was uh, something called Tony the Tiger's Return. But thank gosh that these were not real. They were 100% fake. But I gotta say, they are a bit disturbing. And I think that's gonna do it for this video. Boy, I gotta say, these Frosted Flake commercials over the years, you know, they hold special... And that's gonna do it for this video. Oh boy, I tell you, these Frosted Flake commercials over the years were something very special, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, filled with memories, you know, kids seeing these commercials on TV. You get my point. I have no doubt that people miss the good old days of the Frosted Flake commercials and when you had the late legendary voice actor Thurl Ravenscroft voicing Tony the Tiger, nobody could ever top off Thurl Ravenscroft as Tony the Tiger. Yeah, I'm sure that the new voice actors that do Tony, they do their job well voicing the Tiger, but I'm just saying. So, there you go. My thoughts on the Frosted Flake commercials, you know, and, and with Tony the Tiger, some pretty good ones, no doubt about it. Boy, I can't wait to see what the next serial mascot slash serial commercials I'm going to be talking about next. <laughs> well, bye-bye. <laughs> hey Mordecai, me and Lofty found the Frosted Flake cereal with Tony the Tiger. They're great! <laughs>